Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that today we will start chapter number two and the name of our chapter is Microorganisms. And today I will give you a complete introduction about the microorganisms. So my dear students, let's start the introduction. So when we will start lecture number one, the students will be able to define and describe the what are microorganisms. So you will know definition of definition. What is the meaning of microorganism and where they are found? This will be discussed in lecture number one. And then we will move forward towards lecture number two. So as uh, we will discuss in lecture number one that microorganisms are found everywhere around us. They are found everywhere. Unki occurrence kidder hoti hai, har jagah hoti hai. To ye hume kaise pata chalega? So we will perform an experiment in lecture number two. Hum yaha pe uh, ek jo experiment show karungi and you can easily perform it at your homes and your school also. So we will uh, do um, experiment number one and we will uh, explain and we will able to learn that microorganisms are found everywhere. Then in lecture number three, uh, groups of microorganisms will be discussed and we will discuss virus only. Kitne groups of microorganisms ke? We will discuss virus first. Theek hai, my, virus jo hai, wo ek microorganism hai. Ye kidder uh, found hota hai? Kya iski shapes hai? What are the different types of viruses? This will be discussed in lecture number Three. And then we will move forward towards lecture number four. In lecture number four, because we are discussing about different groups of microorganisms, we will discuss about bacteria. And what are the different types of bacteria, how it looks like, what are the different shapes. This will be discussed in lecture number four. And from here we will move forward towards lecture number five and we will perform an experiment, experiment number two. So in this experiment you will prepare yogurt. Because yogurt ke and there be friendly bacteria and how milk turns into yogurt because of the bacteria this will be discussed and the uh, experiment will be performed in lecture number five and then we will move forward towards lecture number six in lecture number six we will discuss about fungi it is also um, a microorganism and what it looks like what are the different types we will discuss in lecture number six and then we will perform an experiment, um, experiment number three, the ob to observe the growth of uh, microbes on edible material. Okay? Aksar bread ko, roti ko, if it will outside, if it's outside the fridge and if it's uh, old, to usko jo hai green parts jo hai aapko nazar aate hai, uske par, which are growing on it. So, hum ye jo hai cheez, uh, perform karenge practically. So this will be done in lecture number seven and from here we will move forward towards lecture number eight and we will discuss about role of microorganisms as decomposers. Decomposers are extremely important and these are also microorganisms which decompose dead animals, plants uh, and what are the uh, advantages of this decomposers this will be discussed in lecture number eight. And then we will move forward towards uh, lecture number nine and we will perform an experiment on decomposition. Ki kaise jo hai wo different microorganisms jo hai wo decomposition mein help karte hai aur kaise jo hai uh, plants or animals jo hai wo decompose hote hai. This will be discussed in lecture number nine through experiment number four. And from here we will move forward towards lecture number ten and we will discuss about advantages of microorganisms. Because children always think that maybe microorganisms or germs are and they only cause diseases. No, wrong. Uh, microorganisms have a lot of advantages bhi hai, and we will discuss them in detail in lecture number 10. And then we will move forward towards lecture number 11 and we will discuss about disadvantages of microorganisms. Because we know that there are a lot of disadvantages or advantages. Kya hote hai wo? This will be discussed in detail in lecture number 11. And then in lecture number 12, we will discuss about the diseases in humans which are caused by different microorganisms. Yes, the human beings jo hai, they get ill and what are the different diseases which are caused by bacteria and viruses in human beings. This will be discussed in lecture number 12. And then we will move forward towards lecture number 13 and we will discuss about transmission of path uh, pathogens. 
कैसे जो है वो एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जो है वो पैथोजन uh, ट्रांसफर होते हैं वॉट आर द डिफरेंट कॉजेज ऑफ द ट्रांसफर दिस विल बी डिस्कस इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन and then we will move move forward towards lecture number 14 to ways to prevent from microorganisms kyunki ek jagah se dusri jagah transfer ho jate hain pathogens and they make uh, plants animals and human beings ill to unko prevent karne ka is illness ko aur is uh, transfer ko rokne ka spread ko rokne ka kya tarika hai we will discuss that in detail in lecture number 14 <coughs> sorry then in lecture number 15 we will perform an experiment germs hunt kaise jo hai wo germs jo hai wo transfer hote hain aur hum usko discuss karenge this will be discussed in lecture number 15 and practically hum isko perform karenge then uh, lecture number 16 will be the complete review of your unit uh, chapter number 2 kyunki yahan pe chapter will end here aur phir hum yahan pe isko revise karenge and i will also give you an assessment to assess that what you have learned from this chapter so this chapter will be a lot of fun for you you will learn a lot of new things about microorganisms practically hum har cheez ko perform karke dekhenge so jab hands on activity hota hai to waise bhi hum bahut cheeze learn karte hain so my dear students keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz